In the outskirts of our galaxy, a relic from the ancient progenitor civilization has surfaced. And I fear what could happen if it fell into the wrong hands. Some say heroes aren't born. Heroes are made. I guess cliches exist for a reason, because our hero is just in the making. Bob, how is our test subject doing? Oh, well, look who's awake, our little thief. Are you really so stupid as to think you could steal from the great CRT? Heck, I'm not even sure how you're still alive after that gruesome reconstruction. But hey, I'm not complaining. Once your brand new arm's complete, you'll be able to sucker punch people into orbit, baby. Now, if all this sounds a little strange to you, it's probably because I've started removing your memories. I know, I know. A tad extreme, but that's just how I roll. Can't let you keep that pesky free will of yours, can we? <laughs> okay, bye now. Installation complete. This was a rather unfortunate turn of events, although you no longer remember said events. Hmm, stand by. Initialize kinetic weapon system. It would seem that you have a much greater role to play, Skylar. Let's get you out of here. Now, first things first. Are you able to walk? Splendid. You seem to be fit as a fiddle. Now, I am more than a regular arm. Use me to punch through those boxes. Wait, how did you get out? I mean, I see you're uh, taking a stroll. Don't bother jumping those containers, though. It's not like you can jump twice in the air or something. What? Bob? You never told me she was gravity-defying. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I should have known. Try my other function on this swarm boy, the spin attack. The spin attack also functions as a triple jump while in the air. Oh, so you slapped around Dave and Steve. They were useless anyway. All right, end of the road, you rascal. You can't get through here. Ah, shrimp sticks. I blame you, Bob. I blame you. Step on red buttons to activate all manner of mechanisms. Swing nodes, use your grappling beam to swing through the air. Bob, what do those things even do? She's getting away. You're forcing my hand here, kitten. Time to wake up our little friend. Kitty cats. <laughs> Get her! Ah, dang it, you imbecile. You complete. Now's your chance, Kyla. Escape. Brace for impact. Who are you? This is Scott. 
Tyler. Whoa, you got a talking arm. That's neat. Greetings, feathery friend. Greetings, you guys. I'm Plux, and these islands are my home. Me, East. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Plux. But we have urgent matters to attend to. Skyla, if you wish to regain the memory CRT erased, you must find the progenitor structure called the siphon. Called the siphon. And... Oh! I think I know what you're talking about. The islanders always jam about that thing. It's some huge ancient look... That, uh, sounds just like it, I guess. Can you take us there? Can you take us there? I know these islands like the back of my wing. Now, I know felines don't like getting wet, and your mechanical arm is far too heavy for you to be swimming. So watch out for large bodies of water. Note to self, keep kitty cat out of water. the last replicator you passed. And I, uh, added confetti as motivational flair. That's thoughtful. Hey, don't sweat it, but what in the name of funk is going on? A terrible calamity has struck our island, and he calls himself the CRT. His greedy attempt to deconstruct the siphon broke it apart, and I can feel the life force of this moon seeping away. It's an ancient progenitor mechanism powered by three fuses. As the CRT stole one of them, the other two returned to their original places of creation. On the highest point of the island. In the seed lost in time. And the stolen one is kept in a fortress of steel. He has imprisoned my people, the Loar, trying to extort us into revealing the Fuse's locations. Oh, please, if you find any of my children, break open their cages just like mine. And for the trouble, I will increase your health. So if you ever feel weak and beat down, remember to come and talk to me. That sure seems like a tall order. I'm sure you'll do fine, Skylar. Pleasure meeting you. Plux, I know you haven't embraced Clover Island as your home, and I understand that. But it needs you now more than ever. What? Me? You know this island, so you must guide Skylar on her journey. I guess I know my way around. Sure, if you say so, Jelly Beans. Very good, my friends. And Skylar... Let Clover Mountain be a trial of your courage. Best of luck to you both. All right, let's go on an adventure.
Then I've been soaring around this place for years. Finding that fuse should be a piece of cake. I stop you away for too long. I'm waiting for my papa to come and get me. He'll be back any day now. wasn't here before. We'll have to get around it somehow. Hey, look! There's a thingamajig straight ahead. Let's see what it is. You found the jet allows you to hover through the air, rocket jump to high places, and rocket roll over your enemies. Remember, keep an eye on your energy meter. Once a thief, always a thief. Ain't that the truth, huh, pussycat? Well, fine. It's just a prototype anyway. Probably just gonna break it like you do everything else. And who's that talking through your arm anyway? Bob? Is it supposed to do that? I'm not entirely sure, sir. Then what am I even paying you for? You're not actually paying me, sir. Oh, right. <laughs> Silly me.
I love this place. It's so soothing and easy on the eyes. I think the words you're looking for are chaotic and uh, hideous. No! What's your deal, man? My deal? This pathetic island is my deal, Pigeon. As in, I own it. I'll turn this wilderness into something more productive. You can't. No? That's exactly what those pesky natives said. And look where they are now. <laughs> uh, anyway, tell me when you and Kitty Cat are done sulking and ready to get to work. Whatever he's got planned, it can't be good. We really do have to do something, don't we? push for this sucker.
I see fire. Oh no! How could he do this? Oh, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. The natives just couldn't dig the vision I had for this place, so burn, baby, burn. You won't get away with this. <laughs> Watch me. This is a teleportation station. Activating them will let you teleport between other activated terminals. I should have brought my winter plumage. my winter plumage. brought my winter plumage.
from up here when I was little. Well, littler. I'd look up at the sky, wondering if Papa was out there somewhere, on his way back. for someone without wings. You must be really brave. Or really stupid. I mean, I'm not sure what you're even trying to do up there. I mean, well, once I sent Steve to reach the top just for kicks, right? Forgot him up there for like two weeks. You should have seen his popsicle face when he finally blew down from there. <laughs> uh, anyway, is that your individualistic dream now, kid? Become a feline popsicle. Wouldn't you like to know, Bozo? Bah. Well, have fun, you two. Don't freeze your butts off. Or do. Either way, they're mine. Uh, your butts, that is. Uh, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Ruins? This high up? Hey, look! Must be the fuse. When she grabbed the fuse, it, it triggered something. It imprinted some of its power in her arm. Well, ain't that cute. Flush her out into space and be done with it. With all due respect, sir, I think she's worth more to you alive. We can see her power in some kind of glove and... Shut up, Bob. I've got it. If we seal her power in some kind of glove, she could become some kind of super weapon. I, uh... uh... Very good, sir. Quite genius, indeed. I know, Bob. Make the preparation. This kitty cat is getting a new paw. Phew! That was pretty impressive, buddy. Let's go talk to the Elder. This is but the beginning of your journey. To find the next fuse, you must venture to the forlorn desert. Only the wise shall gain entry to the domain of the progenitors. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 